believe that there's an intelligence to the universe, with the exception of certain parts of New Jersey. Let them put it right on the license plate for New Jersey, the toll booth state. What does it say now? The Garden State? Sure, if you're growing smokestacks, yes! The Jersey joke has been around for at least a hundred years. Even in song. Jersey, Jersey, I could say some But even the grittiest Garden Stater must be taken aback by the latest super fund of sleaze to get dumped on the state. Reality shows like The Real Housewives of New Jersey and most toxic of all, MTV's Jersey Shore, starring Snooki and The Situation. This is The Situation right here. My ads are so ripped up, it's called The Situation. So what did New Jersey do to deserve this? Benjamin Franklin said, New Jersey is like a barrel tapped at both ends. Michael Rockland is a professor of Jerseyana at New Jersey's Rutgers University. You know, New Jersey's caught between two major cities, New York and Philadelphia, and it's always been fashionable in both of those places to put down New Jersey, where they're country cousins, if you will. We work in New Jersey. So what is New Jersey's actual situation? For starters, New Jersey is an economic powerhouse, the second richest state in the U.S., a leader in pharmaceuticals, telecom, and agriculture. In fact, 15% of the Garden State is working farmland, ranking 12th in sweet corn production, 7th in tomatoes, 5th in bell peppers, 3rd in cranberries, 3rd in blueberries, and 1st in this unenviable category. New Jersey gets less back for every dollar in federal taxes paid than any state in the union. Now that's a joke. And what about that stereotype that Jersey's a state of knuckleheads? If you don't think any bright ideas come out of New Jersey, think again. Thomas Edison patented his famous light bulb here. This is his library and office. I'm sitting at Thomas Edison's desk. Edison is just one of a cavalcade of big names to come out of New Jersey. Yep, Meryl Streep's a Jersey girl. New Jersey certainly has poverty, most of it isolated in cities like Camden and Newark. But for the most part, life in New Jersey is good, very good. And I think you could say New Jersey's a great place for the middle class. It really is. This explains the miles and miles of car dealerships and strip malls. Yes, New Jersey is our most densely populated state. No surprise, it also has the most diners. But it's also got mountains and lakes and lots of pretty things. And a full 22% of the state is the Pine Barrens, virtually unpopulated forest with some of the purest water in the U.S. You are in Victory Park in Rumson, New Jersey. John Ekdahl is the mayor of Rumson, a historic town nestled on the Navasink River. That's a far cry from TV's picture of Jersey. This is very nice. Elegant. We visited a horse farm. They know they're in New Jersey, huh? I think they know they're in New Jersey. And they're not trying to leave. No, they like it here. It is very, very pretty. This is a great spot. And it's New Jersey, right? It is New Jersey. You sure about that? Now, the Jersey Shore of MTV is shot in Seaside Heights, which in actuality is mm, pretty much like the Jersey Shore of MTV. Get tattooed. <laughs> get, get drunk, go out, go to the bar, you know. But the shore is 127 miles long, most of it with nary a trace of honky-tonk. So why do people think New Jersey's so ugly? Maybe we should blame the turnpike, the highway that provides millions just passing through with views of Jersey's gray side. Do you feel at least a little bit badly about the introduction to The Sopranos? No. Why would I feel badly about that? 
David Chase is the creator of The Sopranos, the seminal HBO television series set in New Jersey. He grew up in the state, only 16 miles from Manhattan's skyline. See, I love all that. That's what I love about New Jersey is, is all that stuff. The Meadowlands, the trucks, the factories. To me, I, I like it. I used to come back with my parents th through that on those roads with all those lights and big refineries and stuff and this dark water gleaming and reflecting it all. To me, it was like, I, I thought that was so powerful and pretty. And used to be we, we were defensive. Now people thump their chests and say, I live in New Jersey. You don't like it? Lump it. Yeah, we are the toll booth capital of the world. So what? Watch out! Just listen to the state's unofficial poet laureate, Bruce. I think he made something very extremely American and mythical American, and people knew he was from New Jersey, and it felt like New Jersey. You know, Born to Run, It's Hard to Beat. It's a funny song because it's about getting out, and yet it makes life there sounds so appealing in a way if you're a kid you know the amusement park stands bold and stark kids are huddled on the beach in the mist well who wouldn't want to be there could be that all this attention on new jersey is a tribute to a state that's unfiltered that doesn't care what others think that's proud of its toll booths